you sick? What do you see? I... I don't really know. It started off really small, then grew bigger and bigger. These people, the cardigal people, did not treat it as a tree. They treated it like a friend. Sometimes they sat under it like they were listening to it speak to them. Then buildings grew from the ground and everything changed. It felt the change but didn't know what to do. It pulled its roots back and its leaves started to fall. Girl in your sick. <laughs> yeah, <it's so> <laughs> okay. Wait. I've never really thought of you as more than just a tree. But if you were to die, something would be lost. And I'm not going to lie, this is kind of weird me writing to you. But I really hope you're not sick. Sophie. Dear Mr. Tree, my mummy says that you're really old. She says you're older than her. You must be really yeah, I look old. Under your big I hope you keep growing older. I you look up give and up. I can see your it's big branches in my head. Growing. If you die, I'll Hello, never see Mr. Fig Tree. My grandmummy says that you're older than her. I wonder how Dear old Fig you are. Tree. I asked Mummy Many students have written no poetry you. about your she school. Said that you are older than Many anyone have even remember. written stories about you. Others still have filmed you in their projects. I don't know how long you are an icon of this school. For all that we of the world are pawns on a great, predetermined battlefield, patterned black and white squares. You are the ancient king of that battlefield. You stand tall and fight like the wise, moving slowly and surely to chase all kinds. My old school. Ah, <laughs> oh, that dear old tree. Hi, have you come to put a note on the tree? Yes, I suppose I have. Friend. 